Hey everyone, welcome to my channel uh, ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, create a hotel uh, booking, uh, hotel room booking uh, project in ASP.NET Core. It's a simple project actually you have to done uh, but if you can uh, follow these steps you can easily create this uh, type of project in ASP.NET Core and any one you have to do uh, in uh, ASP.NET Core, any one projects. So uh, first of all uh, create a um, web projects actually. So you can say that uh, ASP.NET Core and you can see that here we have a lots of project ASP.NET Core Web API, ASP.NET Core Web App, ASP.MT uh, Model View Controller. So select Model View Controller first of all. This is the web project. So you can say that hotel.web project. So here we have. But you can see that uh, the solution name is similar. You can see. So just hotel project. The name of the uh, solution is the hotel project and the project name is hotel.pap. Okay. So uh, first of all divide the project in the entire architecture and uh, then you have to add uh, two or uh, uh, you have to add identity into the, pay, uh, into the project and if you have uh, any roles in the project then just uh, to add uh, roles. So the identity part is completed now that after you have to add uh, some uh, customization in identity like registration page and the login page now uh, that is clear now you have to uh, just move to the another thing like the hotel rooms uh, so just get the details of the hotel rooms so first of all uh, in the scenario you have to add a new project that is the class library project so new project and that is the class library project oops class library project and the name is hotel dot models okay so here we have a uh, class library project hotels dot uh, models the next one is add a new project that is the class library project and the name is hotel dot uh, that is the class library project that is hotel dot uh, web hotel dot uh, models hotel dot uh, business logics hotel dot repository you can say hotel dot repository So uh, web is clear, model is clear, repository is clear and the next one is services. So new project that is the class library project and you can say that hotel.services ok so here we have a hotel.services part and the next one is hotel dot web uh, view model so the next one is hotel dot new project that is the class library project oops uh, hotel dot view models okay and the next one is hotel dot utility project where your extra files is there so like the roles hotel dot class library project so here you can see select the recent project actually it's class library hotel dot utility project so here we have uh, five project in the solution the first one is related to the models and the second one is related to the repository third one is services utility view models and web projects so here we have six types of projects in the solution so uh, first of all uh, i would like to say uh, the part of the uh, for the beginner uh, if you if you are a beginner in asp.net core and if you want to create a project in uh, asp.net core using visual studio then the first part is uh, you can use uh, like the repository okay so in the repository section you have to add a data context class so here we have a data context class like that just add a new item 
and here we have a class name is application db context so first of all create application db context file and uh, here we have a application db context so just use public uh, db context and inherited with the identity db context okay so actually identity db context is found in uh, uh, asp.net core dot identity dot entity framework core package so just you can install that package from your nuget package manager in the project so here we have a repository uh, and just type manage nuget package and here we have uh, like microsoft dot uh, entity framework core uh, dot identity asp.net core dot identity dot entity framework core so this is the package and the latest stable version 6.0.8 that is installed in your project so here we have accept and application db context is resolve identity db context first of all by using control dot key So here we have a Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot identity frame identity dot entity framework code. Now just after that you can uh, use constructor to initialize the connection string. So application db context option. So here we have you, you can use db context options and actually or db context options is there in Microsoft entity framework core. So here you can pass application db context. Okay, so in, in which you can pass options and here we have to pass base options. Okay, so the next step is to do uh, to create a connection string in uh, app settings .json file. And uh, you know that app settings .json file is uh, existing in the web project. So here we have a app settings .json file. In the app settings .json file, first of all create a connection string. So you can type connection string and here we have the connection string name. So name is default connection and the name is server and the server name is actually uh, there is the local DB MSSQL local DB. So here we have you can say that local DB ms sql local db okay so this this is the name of the server ms sql local db local db ms sql local db and the next one is here you can type this okay so and the next one is the database the database name is actually you can set that hotel project db And the next one is trusted connection. And the next one is active multiple active result sets. Result sets equals to true. So this is the connection string actually in your uh, in your app settings or session file. Now the next one, is, the next step is to do that is the program dot cs file where your applications uh, string is there. So just you have to add builder. First of all, doing this, add a SQL Server package in the hotel dot web. So manage nuget package and just go for the browse and here we you can say that sql server and in the microsoft entity framework code dot sql server and install it and here you can see uh, in the program dot cs file the next step is going for the builder dot services dot add db context 
and in which you can pass application db on text and actually application db context is there in the in your uh, package reference so first of all add a package reference inside it so add oops dependencies just type add project reference and here we have a um, hotel.repository so application db context is there in the uh, there so using hotel.repository <coughs> So, in which you can pass options, options dot use SQL Server. Okay, and use SQL Server is actually existing in Microsoft Entity Framework Core. Now, after that, you go for uh, the connection string. So, here you can see that configuration uh, get connection string so builder dot configuration dot get connection string and the connection string name is what the connection string name is application db context is what using hotel dot repository Let's resolve and the connection string name is default connection there is existing in the app settings registration file oops okay so here we go now the next step is to do in your hotel reservation project that is identity so first of all add reference of the repository in the project section so here we have repository so just add a new identity like new scaffold items and here you can say, set that identity and Installing NuGet package, this may take a few minutes. Updating dependency information. Updating dependencies, building project. During the scaffolding items. And here we go. The next. Retrieving information from the scaffolder. Microsoft Visual Studio scaffolding okay so uh, override all files and select the application DB context mm, from the repository section and just click on the add button actually application DB context is already uh, created by the scaffolding so you can check uh, your data set your data directory in your area where your app where your identity is created okay so first of all uh, just wait for some time to create a identity in the project because identity is actually needed uh, to create a new user as well as the admin in the project so wait for some time to create a new identity Okay, that's fine. Now after that, you just go for uh, the areas, and here we have a identity folder. And under the data section, you can see that application DB context is already there in the data section. So just remove first of all, because your data uh, application DB context is just getting from where your repositories. So automatically resolved uh, from the uh, from here in the program.cs file. Okay. So this is the part of the first video of hotel reservation project in you can set the four five layers of the projects and uh, identity into the project. 
So in the next lecture, I will uh, customize the identity for the registration process. Thank you very much for watching this video.